what's going on y'all it's nick with bear family farms we set aside some fannies uh, most of these are last year born kids to get uh bread here in the next well actually there's a billy in this pasture uh we went ahead and threw them in here mainly because uh this billy that's in this pasture we are listing for sale november 1st so we thought we'd throw these nannies in here, give them a few days to hopefully cycle, and hopefully uh, he starts breeding them, if he hadn't already, uh, come October 1. Uh, most of these nannies should be in sync. They were all in sync last year. So hopefully they all breed at the same time and we don't have two spread apart kids, but I think the total day is probably gonna be probably about 45 days is what he's gonna have with them. So. He's over there. I don't know if you guys can see him walking away. Uh, he hasn't been in here. He's been at another herd of ours down in Breckenridge. Breeding nannies there. We finally brought him back home. And uh, we've been really keeping an eye on him mainly because uh, that property didn't really have electric fence. It was all hard fenced. So this is his first time back in electric fence. He's been electric fence before, but we're definitely just keeping an eye on him, making sure he stays in we call him Snape I don't know if you guys watch Harry Potter or not but it's kind of where we got the name from the goats are in here I wanted to get them in here mainly because uh, this briar patch and stuff is already getting burnt out from uh, the drought this summer that we are pretty much still in but we have been getting some rain lately so that's good stuff's starting to green up a little bit but I wanted to make sure they could eat some of these briars before they fall off or continue to burn out uh, it's I don't know probably about 20 acres here that half of it's wooded like that and and then uh, there's some patches of open areas but but uh, the rain definitely has helped we're seeing some grass spurt up a little bit and the weeds turn green turning green <laughs> uh, a week ago or a couple weeks ago all the weeds were brown but they're obviously seeing some life There's about uh, 35 nannies in here, maybe 40. The count I just did, I think there's 35. But there might be some straggling over back that way. So if you guys are interested in a herd sire, all black herd sire, Spanish billy goat, Snape is going to be for sale come November 1. He is a 20 model, so next spring he'll be 4. So he's about 3.5 right now. We used him last year. He covered about 25 nannies or so and he's getting a little bit more than that. You can see him starting to kind of talk to him doing his little dance. So we didn't see much tail wagging. She did show signs of heat being in heat. You can see her tail starting to wag. That's a, a sign that you can kind of tell when nannies are starting to cycle their tails start wagging and they start uh, mounting other nannies. Uh, kind of gives you an indication that she is in her cycle and she might be getting bred pretty soon. So something you can keep an eye out for is, you know, you see, you know, that certain ear tech number starting to show signs. Jot it down in your notes on your phone or on a piece of paper. And then, you know, within five months of that day, you may have some kids and that's kind of a way you can track when and when not they're going to be dropping their kids. some bark off the mesquite tree. We did expose this group uh, to, a, to this billy goat a little early this year. Uh, we're hitting the end of September so we usually don't uh, expose until 
you know mid October but I wanted to to get him an opportunity to go to a new ranch or farm and still have an opportunity to breed some nannies for another ranch but he's coming off of a uh, strictly brush pasture he's really blossomed over the last 10 months I've seen him probably a handful of times within those months when we go over there to, when we went over there to check on that herd which by the way most most of that herd was dispersed to our good friends over at Rockin' Acres Jeremy and Rochelle Warnicky. I'll have some photos of some of the nannies that uh, they took home with them to the Missouri at the end of this video but that's the herd he was at that we dispersed and he looks pretty impressive for the conditions he he was running on uh, he can be a little skittish at times and uh, the black goats usually are always a little bit more wild but uh, he settled down within the last couple days since we've got him in here first day or so we didn't see him once but now that I threw these nannies out here he he's hanging with them so he's definitely feeling himself he's definitely uh, smelling like a billy goat now we've got Bonnie in here and and pup out of Beth he doesn't have a name yet I don't think we haven't really given him a name this pup here was a pick of mine out of the litter out of our full-blooded Karakachan female Beth. Daddy was a Pyrenees and he came out with a pretty much the liver color spots that uh, Beth has. He got all the liver color but it does look like he's getting an undercoat of white but he definitely was the biggest pup out of the litter. He is a little bit of a Hellion actually which is why Anne is in here. She uh, always puts respect on the puppies keeps him in check so he'll be in here with her for probably majority of the fall and then in the winter time we'll move him out uh, into another pasture with a different dog that way he does not get attached to any particular older guard dog of ours you can see this little blue nanny she's actually eating some of that uh, some of that weed there she's eating the tops of them now that they're nice and green. <laughs> We've got pretty much everything they need now in here. We've got their mineral, two mineral tubs over here. Uh, enough for them all to get a good bite. And then we've also got our dog feeder. And uh, we've got our portable water over here. This pasture doesn't have any natural water point. So we, uh, parked one of our water trailers over here uh, we still have to get it set up but uh, when I turned out them out I didn't have any water available set up trailer didn't have any trailer ready to go so I just brought these two big totes of water and uh, filled, filled the IBC toad in the back of my uh, one ton and then poured it in and it's been keeping them watered for a little bit but eventually we when these get low enough we'll move it over there and we'll hook on to the back of this and put a float on it and it'll gravity flow on into the troughs <laughs> 